A new technology that is helping solve crimes, though, is under fire tonight over privacy issues. The facial recognition software allows law enforcement to identify people on surveillance pictures or video. But the technology launched without an announcement. And now the state says it will take a second look to make sure all privacy concerns are addressed. 10 TV's Chuck Strickler is live in the newsroom with how that would work. Chuck. Well, Attorney General Mike DeWine told me this afternoon he is putting together an advisory group made up of judges, prosecutors, public defenders, and law enforcement to look at not just the facial recognition software, but all the data available to law enforcement across the state to make sure all proper protocols and safeguards are in place. Tonight, critics are saying that should have been done well before this new system was put in online. I think the only mistake was they probably should have told me the day they turned on the switch. Uh, but it's not like it was a secret program, and it's not like it's a program that um, we hadn't already approved and, and talked about. And Attorney General Mike DeWine says the new facial recognition software has been online since June through the Ohio Law Enforcement Gateway, already used by law enforcement agencies more than 2,600 times to help identify people and solve crimes. It becomes more accurate, becomes quicker, uh, and it will save lives. It now allows law enforcement to take surveillance pictures and match them electronically with driver's license photos. DeWine has come under a storm of criticism for not telling the public when the system went online. There are safeguards built in. We are comfortable with those safeguards. Oh, it hasn't been handled appropriately. And the, the larger issue is that privacy and privacy concerns seem to be a complete afterthought. Surveillance cameras are everywhere, on street corners, where we play and where we do business. The ACLU says the concern is that the potential to track people's movements and information is only going to get more intrusive in people's lives. And this is just another spoke in that wheel of creating a surveillance society. DeWine says the system is already getting positive results. But it's that type of ability to go find people, find problems, catch criminals, uh, that is over the next months and years is going to save lives in this state and do a lot to protect your family and my family. Now with a new election year just months away, Democrats are slamming DeWine, calling his actions a dereliction of duty. DeWine says he will consider and implement any recommendations from this special advisory group in the next 60 days if they help to safeguard the system. Reporting live in the newsroom, Chuck Strickler, 10TV News.